<coughs> For real, this new light in here. Okay. She knows. There's a light right there. No, there's a book light. You're yeah. being rude, right? Just, just trying to help me. Okay. Sunset. There are so many words for shades of discontent, so many ways to color grief, countless amounts of he's gone, trickling from desperate mouths, always a reason and to every reason an answer, numbers of bottles emptied to stem the trickle. Among the wreckage, sunset hues of desolation, a full bouquet of descriptors for distraught words, Strung up like a noose, I wish you never, I wish you would. Each I am of, I thought I loved, you make me tired like pebbles, rippling to the bottom of a bowl, displacing the water, the castle of the fish. And for each of these words, there are expansive others, moments of somnolescence, warm, easy utterances of calendula of wonder when everyone is breathless, save for the words, embrace, and bud. Save my dolia, say laughter. This shit's in no particular order, I have no idea what it is, I don't know, hot mess. Okay. Untitled. Like the boy who can't stop tearing metal from the end of an Pencils, eraser casing. I can't help but think about all the things I have tried to contain. The way I shake my leg, how I stroke my beard, the need to flex and crack my back. All these ties, ticks, heaped into a pile and hidden by an awareness not my own. All these Habits as if rubbish under a bleach white tarpaulin. And there I find comfort in restraint, the tightness and release, a surrender to another type of swaddling. A straight jacket one grows accustomed to, and one then wonders if he can remember what it means to loosen a buckle and allow the fits tug at the rope snug in the grommets of my constriction and entertain the question, what type of vandalism can I commit against myself today? <laughs> it's like, there's an, there's an annoying, like, happening somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Love letter after Camille Dungy. Sometimes I need to break into adages to express what we need. Sometimes they're worth their weight in salt, so one might bring to mind what makes the world go round, or how things are difficult to find in a pile of shit just as empirically similar I wrote for the good ones. I'll feed you a fish if you set up a Skillshare spreadsheet. I'll sew up your shirt before it gets too fucked up. A condom in the mouth is worth two in the bush, or something like that. And it keeps going, wearing out the grooves, changing into ideas unimaginable, and my words and spool from the bobbin of our tongues, and I unravel into the world, and there is no way to stop it. Everything is kind of a little broken. All I wanted was to write you a love letter, and all I have is this. And, oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, so I have four poems. <laughs> I already told you I'm a hot mess. Okay. If there is elegance in desire. If there is elegance in desire, then there are fish lying in wait to consume a wolf. And yet, there is a certain symmetry to longing. One braid tied to an object, the other tied to an idea, the most impractical suspension bridge made within 
the heart. Last night, I found my way through the dim, lit with a glass of wine, a path so clear I wondered what the distraction was, why it took so long to find it. Last night, I aligned my longing with comfort, laid them down parallel on the plain wood counter. They wriggled there, over the slick varnished bar until calmed, rested in their entwinement, and found solace in their pairing. Okay, so this is like an excerpt of some shit that I'm writing that's not poetry. I don't know what it is yet. Sorry. I'm sorry, Nick. I apologize. Don't apologize. <laughs> okay. And she hurry hears it. Fatty is at it again. Every day like clockwork, he begins his reg regimen. From the creaks and steady knocks of the side of the bed frame against the wall, you can understand his position. Half kneeling, knees almost kissing the floor, just fluttering above wood grain like teenagers so excited by each other's physical proximity that they forget about what they came for. The chase panting is just enough. But Pearl couldn't make out through the sounds and vibrations through the wall was how he prepared his penis before and during his self-appreciation. Did he roll a condom out into a sock full of matter? Was it a plastic sack of old oil rags so it didn't chafe? Or was it something entirely different? No matter, she thought. She knew how it ends. One last strong thud of the sideboard against the horse hair wall and exhale. The sound of a large man's head hitting the springs with torso to follow. His knees finally touching down like two Learjets after circling and circling just above the tarmac. No matter, none of this was exciting to Pearl, save for the mystery of this esoteric ritual. As far as Pearl knew, he had always done this by himself in his room and at 8.16 a.m. sharp. Thank you for having me.